Dr. M here. Welcome to today's lecture. It's just another part about Grignard reactions discovered by Victor Grignard, a Nobel Prize winner of 1912. Now, the general reaction for Grignard reaction, uh, the most common reaction about Grignard is a reaction of your carbonyl with a nucleophile which is one two addition then a carbon it could be a ketone an aldehyde an ester an hydride or also chloride i've already done a reaction about ketones aldehydes and esters today i'm going to talk about acyl halides again for review you're forming a new carbon carbon bond but as i said in the other video click the description below this video Greener reactions do fail with amides containing hydrogens on the nitrogen and carboxylic acids, although the amides and carboxylic acids contains carbonyls. And also, again, as a review, to prepare green yards, react an alkyl halide like methyl iodide with a magnesium. The magnesium just quickly inserts between the carbon of the alkyl group and the halogen that's provided to get the Grignard reagent, which is this, also written as that. Sometimes you have an aromatic ring with the halogen. Still, again, you do an insertion of magnesium in between the sp2 carbon of the ring and the halogen, you get your Grignard. Now, for acyl acid halides or acyl halides, acyl halides, <coughs> This is the general structure where the X could be a chloride, a bromide, or iodine. When you react to the green yard, definitely you guys remember that this carbon is partially positive, and in this case, it is even more activated because this is an electron withdrawing group. Halogens are electron drawing groups, so they make this carbon even more plus charged. And we still have double moments between the carbon and oxygen because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. Because of that, acid, ha acid halides are more reactive than ketones and aldehydes. But the mechanism, of course, is this bond being broken with the R group attacking that carbon. When this guy goes up, when it comes back, the halogen leaves. I'm going to describe in details this arrow pushing. This is not a complete mechanism you would show in the test, but I'm just summarizing to show that this C hell, the, the X here, the halogen has to leave and it's replaced by the blue alkyl group. So you get this functional group. And in this case, you get a ketone if you have a carbon there and there and the living group is the X minus and the MGBR part counter ion that falls off. Now that's for the first equivalent of the green yard or this green yard. If you have a secondary second equivalent, if you have a second equivalent it's gonna attack the carbonyl of the ketone again, you end up with a tertiary alcohol after quenching the reaction with an acid. So again that carbon is partially positive positively charged that opens up so you you lose the sp2 carbon you get an sp3 carbon uh, with a tetrahedral geometry or here it's planar geomet molecular geometry the rest are just by products now to look in detail on the details in the mechanism using this acyl chloride and using this green yard this is how you should push remember i told you in the other video if you've not watched watched it you need to watch it i told you that green yards behave like carbon ions where the carbon bonded to the mgbr is a nucleophile so this long pair right here is simply this bond so we're going to use it to attack the positively charged carbon of the carbon yield and that opens up and that's how you get this tetrahedral intermediate. But remember, halogens are good living group because once they leave, they form 
and a weak base so you bring this back here to reform the carbonyl and that guy leaves okay so you end up with a ketone you see the, these two carbons get added onto the carbon of the carbon and that's why this is a one two addition from the first atom to the second atom so green yet reactions are one two additions so direct additions reaction and you're adding a group to the carbon of the carbon so it's a one two addition reaction okay so it, you get your ketone anyway and a living group cl that fell off the ketone is still reactive to green yet so if you have excess of green yet or if you want to bring a different choice of green yard reagent you can do so like here we are bringing this time a three carbon source uh, attacking the carbonyl carbon same thing one two addition the the two electrons that make the pi bond are taken to the oxygen because oxygen is more electronegative it wants electron groups that's what that means you get this intermediate again with the counter ion mgbr that fell off from the greenian reagent okay but in this case because you have two different groups and you're adding a third different groups different from the other the two groups that are already there on the carbon containing compound you're ending up with four different groups around this carbon making this carbon asymmetric and therefore you should expect to get two possible products depending on the approach of the green yard if the green yard is attacking this carbon from the top this is the uh, al alkoxide salt that you get if the green yard is attacking the carbon from the bottom face because remember this this carbon is sp2 hybridized the oxygen is sp2 hybridized this area here is planar so it's like putting this molecule on top of your desk you can attack it from the top or from the bottom so if you attack from the top you get this if you attack from the bottom you get this in equal amounts in resmic as a resmic mixture so 50 percent chance for making that and 50 percent chance for making that which means if you're looking at one gram of product this will be 0 0.5 grams this will be 0 0.5 no preference for either so these are enantiomers because one is r and the other one is s configuration okay you find figure that out all right and um, so you get an enantiomers of salts now what's left is to get rid of the negative charge and we simply quench by attacking with H plus. Same thing here, you would quench it by attacking the H plus with an oxygen here. So here you can quench by attacking the H plus, the acidic proton with the O minus, using one lone pair of the O minus, and here attacking the acidic proton we using the lone pair of the O minus. So you're going to get the two enantiomers again here in as res, as a racemic mixture. 50% yield of that, 50% yield of that. So that's a general mechanism of green reaction on acid chlorides or acid halides you know this chloride could be a bromide could be an iodine this halogen here could be a chloride a bromide or a halogen so it depends on what you're given and also if you're using two equivalents of these you're not gonna end up with enantiomers because that carbon will no longer be asymmetric all right so draw the starting materials intermediates of products to the following reactions okay now notice that this is again assumed to be one equivalent so the first thing that you want to do is to use that bond as a handle to attack this carbon or the carbonyl or, and the pipe one of the bond will open up so what do you end up with you end up with your original structure with the oxygen opened up 
of course you have your counter ion which is the magnesium bromide cation and you still have your halogen it's not falling off yet but your alkyl group from the grignard is added right and now we're going to break back the carbonyl just general procedure right and that falls off so the actual product that you are looking to get is the actual product you're looking to get is this okay and that's gonna be your intermediate product that will be your intermediate product which you needed to draw here so this guy is the intermediate product it's not the final product it is the intermediate product and it's a ketone and it's a ketone now if you're given a second equivalent uh, followed by acid catalyzed quenching so you expect this is going to attack here you get O minus and the O minus will be quenched by the O plus and you're going to get two products so these are the two products that you get they're going to be enantiomers why enantiomers because they have opposite configuration and only one and only one asymmetric carbon one product has a wedge the other one has a hatched bond or what what most students say dashed bond and that will happen because this guy can attack from the top the grenade can attack from the top uh, from the top phase or from the bottom phase to give these two products r and s configurations okay now they are racemic mixtures because each has equal chance of being getting formed so this will be 50 percent and that could be 50 percent too and the next question you have two equivalents of the same type of green yard so you expect that this guy the first equivalent attacking here should eventually give you this and then the second equivalent, the second equivalent of the green yard, from there, should give you the tertiary alcohol after quenching with an acid, just yes, as we've been talking about. Only one product because this carbon is not asymmetric. You have some symmetry, you have two groups of the same same type. Of course, the other byproducts will be 2 Cl minus and magnesium 2 plus. For the third question, you are asked to do four equivalents of a reaction with this diacyl chloride, followed by quenching. That should be the product. But how does it happen? Let's explain it going downwards. Because you have two functional groups that can react from the left and right. Let's use two equivalents of the four equivalents of the green yard to attack the left and the right. That way, so the first one will attack here, goes up, open up, opens up, comes back, CL leaves, same thing here. Attack the carbonyl, open up. Whenever it comes back to reform the carbonyl, the CL should leave according to the general mechanism. You get the ethyl groups on each side. Then come with the remaining two equivalents of the green yard to attack the diketone attack this carbonyl and the other one to attack the other carbonyl they're going to open up you get this di tetrahedral intermediate which can be quenched by the acid here we're assuming we have just enough to get the di or tertiary alcohol okay draw the mechanism to show draw the mechanism to show how the following compound can be made from the starting materials it's easy you have one equivalent of this and one equivalent of the of the green yard so we're going to do stepwise you see you ending up forming two rings so we'll use this structure with the four carbons to form the second ring to the second five membered ring including this carbon makes five carbons five carbon membered ring 
so the first green yard side will attack the carbonyl it opens up you get this alkoxide in organic pro uh, in organic uh, in organic intermediate product the oxygen has too many lone pairs of electrons so you're going to use one of them to bring to reform the carbonyl to push the chloride out you get it at a, as a living group and you get a ketone from that arrow pushing and then you do a second green add on to the ketone that just formed it opens up you get the o minus and then finish by quenching that's advised on the question quench you get your tertiary alcohol which is a product that you're asked to show how it's formed so that's the mechanism on this question all right keep practicing you should get better and better in green reaction of acid chloride or acyl acyl chloride or acyl halides in general see you soon bye